the Sonic community has this weird thing going where having weird opinions and trying to be different with said opinions are sort of trends or movements for amounts of time. One day your favorite game, which is considered great, is now overrated. Or that weird game that was never really good or bad is now underrated? I've even seen someone say that Sonic 4 has the best soundtrack amongst Sonic's classic titles. So yeah, fans like to mutually adopt weird opinions and masses. I understand why this can happen. This all goes back to my previous video where I said we're all basically bored and waiting on info of the new games. And people can say some pretty questionable things in anticipation of said games. Anyway, the newest trend that fans are adopting is Classic Sonic Heat. There's some pretty crazy stuff out there being said like that he should have never existed. And there's also reasonable hate too with that. And I completely understand. Such as the complaint that everyone is tired of him and there's too much Classic Sonic. It undoubtedly is a question, especially when he returned in the Project 2017 trailer, and I instantly questioned the reasoning of his returning. Like if we even want to consider Generations canon for a second, they gave the character a great send-off back to his own world, which I thought would have been perfect to reintroduce the character for classic title spin-offs at the time, which eventually happened with Mania. Anyway, why is he back in a modern title? I completely understand the complaint when he's already got his own game too this year. So yeah, too much? Definitely if you just want to move forward as a fan and have a genuine modern Sonic game. Especially with Lost World, it was so obnoxious. Modern ran like classic, stages were named like classic, stages looked like classic, even had some weird and awkward wannabe 2D gameplay like classic. Why can't Sega keep that stuff separate? It never works nor does anyone like it. But let's rewind to the classic Sonic should have never existed thing and let's remember how shaky the series was prior to its appearance in Generations. Sonic in that moment needed something fresh and different because for some reason non-fans in general prefer to remember that entity of Sonic only. So it was perfect in the moment and admittedly along with Transform the whole nostalgia thing Sega pushed for got me back into the series as it did for many other people. I think Sega does need to know where to draw that line though. No matter what, Classic and Nostalgia Sonic will always be a gimmick and will be seen as so. Classic will be the equivalent of the Wisp and no one likes the Wisp. Truthfully, like the Wisp, Classic should have only been in one game. Since he wasn't, everyone is sick of him. I think the influx of Classic art, Mania, and the comics are all fine and harmless. You don't have to read the comics. And if seeing the Sonic Twitter post Classic art angers you or annoys you, maybe avoid it and ease off of Sonic a bit because it's not that serious. I think Classic is overstaying his welcome a bit. Again, why is he in Project 2017? I know Sega will never give us a legit reason why, knowing their half-assed statements about fans' concerns on the validity of certain things regarding the canon. I get that Classic Sonic kind of signifies a lack of caring for certain groups of fans' ideals and a lack of caring about the canon's integrity, especially moving forward. Like, why care if you're one to never cater to? Meanwhile, non-fans and older fans are catered to in the past six years straight. Mainly the whole Classic Sonic being in modern games. That is where the line is drawn. I understand that they're in a position of, again, a game that needs to be great and win everyone over. But who knows? With Project 2017, there already is a third character and gameplay confirmed. And just maybe we're all getting catered to for once. But it's fun 